Welcome back to the channel. So since the last time you've seen any of these high crop tractors, they're kind of spread everywhere. But uh, since the last time you've seen them, I'm pretty sure this CA was together, that C was together, and all the parts on the ground were together somewhere. Don't mind, don't mind an 8N, don't look at that. This is an analyst channel, not a Ford channel, right? So anyways, so you guys, well, I had one comment asking about what the actual transmissions were and I thought I, just, I need to do a quick video just explaining what that is. But before I talk about that, I just want to say to everybody, uh, I really appreciate you guys for watching. I really appreciate it if, if everyone who watches would subscribe to the channel. That would help me out a bunch. Like the video, comment on this video. And uh, happy Easter also. Okay, so to start off talking about the transmissions, I have two of these. Uh, this one is just a two-speed. Now, I'll explain what I mean by that. This one over here, where is it? Focus, there you go. That one right there is a four-speed. Okay, so this two-speed... Uh, I don't remember which way is which without spinning it, but it's got like your direct drive. Let's say that is that it would be just your your normal shaft, just like the CA's got. You know, just a normal shaft sticking through. So you just have your normal uh, three or four speed, depending on what tractor this would have been in at that time. Pretty self-explanatory. This one, or this way, I should say, not this one, but this way, it gives you a very, very low gear. And because it's in front of the four-speed or three-speed transmission that we bolted here, it gives every gear super slow. So, which is good for doing the deadweight type of tractor pulling that I do, and especially with 36-inch rubber, you know what I mean? Granted, a CA and whatever is geared low, a C is not. A C would never turn 36s, but in deadweight tractor pulling, we don't go for speed. We go for, well, actually, just we go for just trying to make it stay pulling the whole time, I guess. That's pretty much what we do. Yeah. But anyways, uh, and then this one over here, this one is... A four speed that back is one to one if I'm correct then get this chain out of there that would be slow pull her out go back that's slower and then going back forward again while it's pulled out that is what you call slowest the way we figured that out, the tractor in f first gear will pretty much not move. It goes that slow. So, which it's kind of, it's pretty, pretty cool that these, I would call them a Sherman, I think. I, it's, I, I think they would be considered, like, I'm going off of, uh, like, a Ford with a Sherman in it. But, it's pretty neat that I actually have... A couple of these tractors that have these but these are all how would you say under drives they they all it's one to one is your fastest gear and everything works down from there so yeah that's but that's it's it's pretty neat they this one in yeah this one actually has let me get get a flashlight and i'll show you okay so there you can see let me get this in my hand a little bit better. There you go, somewhat. You can actually see that it has a U-joint, but this one actually has two U-joints in on the shaft going into that transmission. The other one is just a single U-joint. And actually I have that sitting on the bench over here. I feel like I got a mess going on. Yeah, right there. See, it's got this 
slide coupler that slides into the transmission, the Sherman or however you want to call whatever you want to call it. A U joint, and then that goes on the Alice transmission right here. So what my plan is is um, I'm going to take this. Which one is it? This four speed. Yes, uh, Sherman torque tube. I'm going to put it in this CA. So if I do my math right, that should be a 16 speed forward transmission tractor then. Yeah, that would be pretty neat. And this other one, this is just the, the high, well, the one to one and low, I should say, is going in that C over there for dad. And we're actually, what our plan is, is those two 36s right there are still holding air. Tires aren't the best, but they're holding there and they're going to be okay. But we're going to put them right on his. And I already have a set of 11 2 36 Firestones I'm going to put on this thing. That's my plan. But I just wanted to do a quick video saying what the transmissions actually were. So, because I had a couple comments about that. So, and uh, again, happy Easter. And I just figured out today, very interesting news, that it is 50 days until the first tractor pull. Yeah, 50 days. What do you think the chances are that any of these tractors are going to go back together enough to pull? It's a good thing I got a building full of other ones that I haven't touched. They might run still. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one.